I've been blessed to, the day she walked in, and I feel blessed that now I get to call her my wife. Just one of many same-sex unions today, proudly under the banner of love, but now also under the protection of the U.S. Constitution. Senior Washington correspondent Neil McDonald has more on this decision. Neil. Yeah, you know, David, 12 years ago, gay sex was actually against the law just across the river from here in Virginia. As of today, gay marriage is a legal right in this country, everywhere in this country. Today's ruling felt inevitable. It was, nonetheless, the greatest expansion of marriage since the 1967 decision that struck down bans on interracial matrimony. It was a clear and historic declaration that the four words etched onto the front of the Supreme Court, equal justice under law, apply to us, too. Jim Obergefell's husband, John, was still alive when they began fighting Ohio's refusal to recognize their marriage. When John died of ALS, Ohio refused to list Obergefell's name on the death certificate. No American should have to suffer that indignity. Clearly. Justice Anthony Kennedy had that in mind when he wrote for the majority that, as some of the petitioners in these cases demonstrate, marriage embodies a love that may endure even past death. They ask for equal dignity in the eyes of the law. It is so ordered. Later, the president emerged from the White House to praise the long legal struggle that ended this morning. Sometimes there are days like this when that slow, steady effort is rewarded with justice that arrives like a thunderbolt. Not too long ago, Obama himself opposed gay marriage, as did most other political leaders here. But in recent years, public opposition abruptly melted. Without that change in attitude, said Obama, this could not have happened. Today, we can say, in no uncertain terms, that we've made our union a little more perfect. The court's four right-leaning justices all dissented today, saying this is a matter for politicians, not the court. Your judgment begins! And conservative activists portrayed it as an attack on their values. Richard Land, an influential evangelist here, asked in a statement, will the progressive, totalitarian, and intolerant left weaponize the government? an attempt to force or compel people to affirm same-sex behavior and relationships? Conspicuously, though, Republican politicians are mostly silent because not only is this now settled law, its value as an election wedge issue had already really disappeared. And with the legal distinction gone, David, gay marriage will inevitably become just marriage. Thanks very much. That is Neil McDonald in Washington tonight.